Hello. Are those hot little potatoes because you know they're on the ground like potatoes and hot because they um explode anyway what's up my very own landmine oh just what I've always wanted well always since I sent you out on this anyway now tell me all about it what was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? That's a pretty good way of putting it. I think I'll use that in the book. Maybe I should credit you as a co-author instead of just a researcher. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. It most certainly does. And if I keep writing in the style of some of your reports, this is going to be one mighty slick book. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? <laughs> Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two, and I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Come back soon! Those who dwell here in his favored land attend now. 
Well, how do you feel? Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh, how can you be walking around like this? Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I needed to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Mirelurks are a big threat in some areas, and knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Absolutely. Good hunting! Come back soon! Are you okay?
Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. You've been living under a rock? This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. That's a negative. We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own Initiate Redden is a sterling example. There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News Radio Building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. Watch yourself out there. Red, on me. You're doing fine. Just follow my lead. No dead heroes today, okay? What's the situation? All clear, Sentinel. Five mutants released from their torment. The rest are keeping their heads down. Good. Jennings? Negative. A new recruit? Just a stray we picked up. The one that blundered into the uglies over on 42nd. Welcome! All right. It's the usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. Take the east side. I'll go west. Okay, okay. Once we're inside, then we'll celebrate. Now you're talking.
It's not your fault, Argus. Redden was good enough for the Pride, and she proved it here today. Yeah, I know. God damn it. When we get back to the Citadel, I'll talk to the scribes. Let it be chronicled that Paladin Redden passed her test. Come on. Let's see if they've got anything to drink in this time. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. I'll take that as a compliment. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the Capital Wasteland, who will? The Brotherhood does its best, but sometimes it takes a little something... special. That's where the Lion's Pride comes in. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. Watch yourself out there. Looks like it's all clear, unlocking outer doors. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. Yep, guilty as charged. <laughs> I don't usually have exposure to the public like this. It's nice to know someone's listening. Makes carrying on the good fight that much easier. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the Capital Wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day, fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie, too, and aim to take it by force. Well, holy shit. Aren't you a chip off the old block? You are as smart as your dad. Since you know all about this cause, no need to explain the effect. Let's get you on your way. Oh, come on. You're a spitting image of the guy. He's been here before, and now you're here. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. You want to find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. But if you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. You want to find your dad. And it just so happened. He was here at Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more. Good. Because this isn't going to be easy. Galaxy News Radio is my baby. I love it. I feed it. I keep it changed. But there's one problem. No one outside of D.C. can hear her cry. You see, some brainless super mutant thought it would be funny to shoot at the shiny round thing on the Washington Monument. Yep, that shiny thing was our broadcast relay. Now it's Swiss cheese. Without it, our broadcast range is quite limited. 
Of course, the factory that made the relay dishes is long gone. Leveled. As in, we're never gonna scavenge that part again. It is risky. I would never lie to you. But there's something behind those eyes of yours that screams, I'm the one that can get shit done. Your dad had that same look in his eyes, too. That's why three dogs helping you. One of the Brotherhood guys that passed through here mentioned seeing a dish in one of DC's old museums. It's the dish off the old Virgo 2 lunar lander in the Museum of Technology. I want you to get it and bring it to the Washington Monument to replace the bad one. That's it. <laughs> I sure know how to pick them. You're gonna be the best thing that ever happened to Galaxy News in a long time. If you need any more info, I'll be here waiting for you.
This is gonna be fun.